Okay, hello everyone. Guys, we're going to take a look at day 39, just these two puzzle piece assignments. All right, so we'll start the homework check. And as you know, it always starts with the essential question of the day, which is right here. And it's a, there's a copy of it in the slideshow. Let me, uh, right there. How do we multiply radical monomials? That's what we're doing today. <coughs> Again, if you need to stop the video, go ahead. All right, number two, that's what's the index of a square root. Okay, remember that the index is the root. Let me kind of look at it like this. Again, the square root of five, we write it like this. But we can write it like this, with the two right there. That's the index, right there. The index of the root is what's at the front door of the house. Again, what's in the house is the five. Sometimes there's something in front of the house, but the front door of the house is right here. All right, again, this is the uh, five raised to the one half is the same thing. The denominator is the root. All right, number three, which of these are monomials? Guys, a monomial, again, has no plus or minus sign in between. So like this first one is a monomial. You're just multiplying things together, All right? Not number two is a plus sign there. Those are two terms, not one. You're going to have one term, like this one right here. That's one term, All right? Four minus square root of three, that's two terms. And this one is two terms as well. But this one on the bottom is only one term. It's all multiplied out. There's no plus or minus there. That's a monomial. It has one term, okay? Please submit that. As if you're online, you don't have to do the worksheet. And if you're in class, the worksheet key is right here. So we're going straight to the exit ticket, all right? We're just doing the two puzzle pieces here in this video. And the first one is select a simplified version. Again, this is 12 times 20. So it ends up being the square root of 240. But we know that it was at 16 times something. Um, yeah, it's 16 times 15. Yep, 16 times 15. is 240. So you can separate those into a factor that's a perfect square, 16. So it just ends up being 4 times the square root of 5, okay? Or oh, 4 times the square root of 15, I mean, yep. Okay, number 2. You're going to do the same thing, guys. Multiply those two together, what's inside the radical. 2 times 15 is 30. And 2 ends, right here, times 3 ends is 5 ends. So it looks like that, 30 and 5 ends. Just put it together. And then you can take it apart again because 4 of these ends can come out. If we take them out, it's n squared. All that's left inside is the 30 and the n. And we did this before, guys, because the square root of n to the fourth equals n squared. All right, number three. And you can put them together. Two times negative four is negative eight. 15 times 10 is 150. All right, so you put them together and you get this. But then you separate them back out because this has a factor that's a perfect square, 25. I can write it like this. It's 25 times 6. 25 times 6. All right, the square root of 25 is 5. So 5 times 8, 5 times negative 8. Hopefully you see the answer there is in front. The square root of 6 is in back. All right, number 4. Again, multiply them together. So 4 times 5 is 20. Multiply the outside of the house together, 
and then the inside together. So 2 times 10 is 20, inside, and x times x is x squared. So when you multiply them together, it looks like this. But you've got to simplify this again. This 20x squared has a factor that's a perfect square. 4 and the x squared. All that's left is 5. Again, 5 times 4 is 20. And the x squared is a perfect square. Take it out. So you take this out, this becomes 2x out. So it's 2 times 20. And then there's an x. All right, hopefully you can find it from there. All right, number five. All right, we're distributing here. I have to multiply the square root of 6 times 3 and the square root of 6 times 2, times the square root of 2. So when I do that, the first one is 3 times square root of 6, and the second term is the square root of 12. So it looks like that. All right, you can probably see the answer already because only one answer starts with that. But remember, the square root of 12 is the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, and the square root of 4 is just 2. So the front stays the same. That should be the answer right there. All right, number 6. Again, distribute negative 3, negative square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is 3. All right, so this is minus 3 times 3 up front. The back is minus 3 times square root of 3. That one's pretty easy. You probably see this. Again, this 3 is a square root of 9 is what that is. So 3 times 3 is 9. So it starts with negative 9. Oh, it starts with positive 9. I'm sorry. That has to be a plus. All right, because two negatives make a positive. Two negatives make a positive when you multiply, not when you add. All right, number seven, go ahead and distribute. The square root of six times the square root of five is the square root of 30. And then that n has to be in there too, n plus... 6 times 2 is 12, so that's the square root of 12. And we had that one before, right? And the square root of 30n plus the square root of 12, and the square root of 12, we found it right up here. It's 2 times square root of 3. We already found that one. So you can replace this 2 times square root of 3 with that. And you should have your answer. All right, number 8, last one. Just so multiply it out. Negative 2 times 3v is negative 6v. And the square root of 5v stays there. All right, then negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. And the 5v times the 3, which is inside the square root, is 15v. So that's what I end up getting. I just multiply it out. Guys, there's nothing to simplify or any of that. That's the answer right there. All right, y'all, that's it. i got to stop because the video is running long here. Thanks. I hope that helped you.